that just to watch you both perform and the performance that you put on was just reminded me, you know, why there's so much distance between our thing and, and, and a lot of other things. But it's like the biggest thing for me was just, it was just really, uh, it was like heart, like warm, like my soul was like warm at the end of it. Like I felt genuinely like I felt so much gratification, you know, like it's like I felt, I felt really uh, sentimental. I cried and shit. You know, I haven't wow. cried in years. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I was just so happy to see see my people. You know, I obviously uh, I love you both so much, and I look up to you all the time. And just man, I was telling you the other night, like just to see you out there, the way you stalked the stage, and the way you were just in your bag. You didn't miss a word, miss a beat. Like I just love seeing you do what you do. You're just so gifted and talented. I don't. I don't. Well, Drake, I, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, Drake. When yeah. we was just two like little scruffy weirdos on the bus, yeah. and you know I'm I always I'm always bring up the bus because I'm never gonna get over that. And I think yeah. and I think that's the reason even now till this day, you and I always are gonna have a connection. And I and I tell people like yo, I think when you knew someone before they became a megastar, um, it's it's just different. You know what I'm saying? Not that you know the person and you could like whatever, but it's just like oh my god, we really did this together, and I can't. Who who else can you say that you know that had that type of run together and did it in that way? But what I, like I remember when Mac first played me you your music we were at, we were at MTV and I was like oh my god yeah he's dope but I remember Mac was so excited and I remember like I was thinking like why is he playing me songs you know when somebody just randomly say yo listen to this dude and you just expecting the person to be super dry. And I was like, oh, okay, wow. And then I remember when we did the first money, uh, Young Money photo shoot together and you were staring at me. And, <laughs> and, and I was like, oh my God, who is this man? And, and, and Mac always was like, no, you don't know. That's Drizzy, that's Drizzy, whatever. But Drake, do you think you could see yourself not being in this? Because I definitely have thought about it so many times, especially being a mom. But it's so a part of my DNA now. What do you think? Do you think about that? Like as far as just like and like uh, uh, like not doing uh, music like one day. Um, I'm, t I'm yeah. I'm not. I'm I'm not. Uh, I'm not at that point where I even like consider that to be an option because it's just still. It's still like one of the best feelings I have in my life is completing a song or a project sharing it um you know and by the way those things are painful as well i mean obviously like you know you i mean i'm sure you can attest there's there's a lot of pain about creating music and sharing it a lot of nerves a lot of like confidence wavering but at the end of the day like i don't know i just have i, I feel like i'm reaching a point now where i i feel um I feel like I'm having a new level of fun with this shit, you know, like, it's like, um, it's kind of like when you like, it's just, it, it's even just, yeah, it's comfort, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I've, I've reached a new level of, of comfortability where I, I feel like, okay, now I want to try things. Like even with the last album I just put out, it's something I just wanted to do to challenge myself to try something. And, you know, the things that I'm working on right now, you know, the feedback I keep getting is like, yo, it sounds so free flowing. You mm -hmm. sound like you're just having fun. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I haven't really. But you're like, you're like, um, and you were always, you know, they don't know you in your wild days. I know you in your wild. <laughs> Why do you keep on saying? Excuse me, sir. I was never wild. The hell? What the hell? She keeps saying that. I'm not no super. What? By the way, when the highlight of our night was like pulling over at like a truck stop or like a Walmart and just like. When Nikki talks about the bus, the reason we talk about the bus is because it was almost like we lived in a house together. We were just following Wayne around, which is one of the best things that he could have ever let us do. It was yes. like a summer boot camp yes. of learning, you know, how to not only how to how, like not only learn about work ethic, how to rap, how to make music. It was just like it, it, it. I feel like those those times shaped my character, you know, mm -hmm. like like 
you know? You, and that's the you, thing. But Drake, thank you. I'm so glad you said that because also I had a nine I had a nine to five my whole life prior to that. But that's why I don't ever have sympathy for people who don't want to do the work, don't want to do hard work. Like when pe it's like people think that one day we just woke up and we were rich and famous. No, we were on the bus getting out on stage for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute on stage every night. We didn't complain. We thanked that man every night. That man didn't have to do that. You understand? So when people complain or act like, you know, they just supposed to pop in one day and just be like you know on your level are you supposed to do this and do that i'm like yikes I, those are the exact kind of people i don't want to be around and i think because of social media the new artists are thinking everything is going to be microwavable and then what you get fast you lose fast y'all and i want you to understand that like put in the work okay so who's your girlfriend i don't have a girlfriend you know that already so you still like the big booties I mean, you obviously know you've shaped my taste in women at this point, so I don't, you know. You know. Like, they gotta have, they gotta have big something, right? You know that about me. First of all, oh, so if you, okay, if you was walking across the street and you had to save one person, and one of them was a, a very intelligent woman, sophisticated, re sophisticated. Really compromising question here. <laughs> Sophistic sophisticated, year. responsible. No, I'm not saying any names. I said sophisticated, uh, responsible, intelligent versus. Uh, you're not gonna, listen, you're not going to Ellen DeGeneres me with crazy questions that get me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so do you feel that you like all all colors of the spectrum with women do you feel that it's just about the person's personality or what's your vibe what what because there's women listening right now they're gonna be like yo i want to be drake's new ting go ahead <laughs> um you know for me i think i think i think i've definitely um evolved in the sense of like it's less about like the chase and the pursuit from a physical perspective and it's more just for me it's like i i don't want i just don't want to be drained like i don't want to be out on a first date and not be stimulated so i I've, I've like kind of found like new uh i found new territory and in, in just like I, I i need new things it's not just about clapping cheeks you know which like when but I clapping first, cheeks is okay right yeah, well, I mean. Yeah, okay, okay, great. Listen, before, but no, before, before I forget to say this, though, you did bring up a really good point when you were saying, like, you're at the point where you're having so much fun because it's so less, a lot less judgment. I was saying the same thing about myself recently. Like, even the way I respond to critique is so much different. Like, I truly don't give a shit because I know what I've done and the work I put in, and I really don't care. I, I, I don't react to things, even behind closed doors, like, things that used to really bother me, like uh, stupid nonsense in the industry, yeah. it doesn't bother me like that. And because of that, I'm finally having the fun that I think I always should have been having. So I definitely understand. By the way, I can see that in you as well. And I remember a time, and I'll, like, I mean, I, I don't want to divulge personal info, but I remember a time where, you know, I, since if we're having a transparent conversation, I feel like things used to deeply affect you and you would almost immerse yourself in, you would almost not allow yourself to see all the positive. And yeah. I used to, I remember trying to reinforce it to you, like, no, you don't understand. Like, and you would, you know, I think, I think it's that Michael Jordan thing where you would kind of gravitate towards something negative to push you in a competitive, you know, like in mm -hmm. a competitive way. Um, you can you can kind of that, sh that shit can really have, take a toll on you yes so i'm very proud of the fact that you i can tell that it, it just change your 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 energy and your mood around you know just everything is is i feel like i'm so excited for people to experience you know the the work you've put in as a person not only as an artist but like your character has just and i mean by the way you're always in it like one of my favorite people in the world, but it's tough when people are just shitting on us yes. and sometimes they're not doing it from a, like it's none of it's really constructive. It's almost yes. like, you know, it's like you got people that want to, uh, like wage war on you for their own reasons. And it's, mm. and it's really tough to kind of figure out like, yo, are these people saying that this song or this project is, is ass like for real, or is it just, or they just don't like you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just so excited because I know that, I know that you're out for blood and that you don't give a fuck about what they got to say. About no, I people. don't. And in a few minutes, we're going to be playing Super Freaky Girl. And you were in the Anaconda video 
and uh, you know what? Uh, let me. All right, let me go because I wore, I wore some super thin shorts. I was like those old guys that go to the strip club with extensions with no drawers. I wore some. Super thin <laughs> you know something? Super let me tell you something. Let me tell. You. Get the hell off my phone. I love you, Daily Drake. I'm a. I'm a hit you after. Thank you for calling into Queen Radio, boo. All right, let's Shout out to all the barbs. Yay! Uh, and they and they do not have beef with Drizzy Drake no more. And Drake loves the barbs, and we love Drake. Period. And and they gotta hear how we're cooking up on this new shit. Uh, you know how we're coming. How we coming? You wanna go? Should we go sexy and grown grown? Or should we go? Uh! No, nah, we're always on big big like. Oh. Uh. Oh, cause I don't know. My son's been trying to act funny. My son, my son's been getting doing a lot of crazy things, Drake. I said, yo, them the new say, yo, I might blood clot ting this. You understand? Like, yo, to all my sons, daddy's home. All right, Drake, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Yo, look at how late it is. Okay. And see, that's why I love him. I love him dearly. Um, let me see if I can get my other baby on the phone though. Hold on, shoot. Um, and because I know, I know you guys, we got four minutes, but it's okay, y'all. Y'all can be playing the, the we, we're gonna play Super Freaky Girl here, but we're not getting off the show. This is a slumber party that we gotta go. I have to call like four more other people, and we got a lot of things to get into. I got a cocktail, I got the words to give out, I got the, 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 the money prize to give out, I got a lot of things to give out. So, Give me a second, but can you play that that um that now we gotta get into a, another song? But that that song always puts me that that song makes me feel so good. Currents by Drake. Um, you guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. Play some songs. Yeah. <laughs> 